problem natin, a bus is stopped at a traffic light. It then travels along a straight road such that its distance from the light is given by x of t is equal to bt squared minus ct cubed where b is equal to 2.2 meter per second squared, c is equal to 0.1 meter per second cubed. Calculate the average velocity of the bus for the time interval t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 10 seconds. Letter b. Calculate the instantaneous velocity at t is equal to 0, t is equal to 5 seconds, t is equal to 10 seconds. How long after starting from rest again at rest? So may given tayong equation, tapos meron tayong b and c. So una, hanapin muna natin yung interval na t is equal to 0. When t is equal to 0, ito ay distance as a function of time. So x of 0. Substitute lang natin. So, if sinubstitute mo yung 0 sa t, 0 na kaagad. So, when, when t is 10 seconds, so x of 10, ang b natin ay 2.2 times 10 squared minus, ang c natin ay 0.1 times 10 cubed. 2.2 times 10 squared minus 0.1 times 10 cubed. Sagot ay 120 meters. Velocity average equal to displacement over time. So change in displacement. Ang displacement natin ay 120 minus 0. to yung una. Tapos 10 seconds minus 0. 12 meter per second. Ito yung average velocity natin. So letter B, calculate the instantaneous velocity. Vx. As a function of time, pwede rin. Sinasabi na ang instantaneous velocity is the derivative of the displacement with respect to time. So, dx over dt. Pwede natin i-derivative to. bt squared minus ct cubed over dt. So, ang vx. Derivative nito ay 2bt minus 3ct squared. Ito na yung instantaneous equation natin or instantaneous velocity equation. When t is 0, vx 0 to. 0 pa rin. Substitute natin yung 0 sa t. When t is 5, vx 2 times 2.2 times 5 minus 0.1 times 3 pa. 3c. Tapos ang t natin ay 5 squared 2 times 2.2 times 5 minus 0.1 times 3 times 5 squared sagot ay 14.5 meter per second ito yung sagot sa una 0 so when t is 10 seconds vx 10 2 times 2.2 times 10 minus 3 times 0.1 times 10 squared 2 times 2.2 times 10 minus 3 times 0.1 times 10 squared sagot ay 14 meter per second so yun nasold natin yung letter B sa letter C naman ang tanong how long after starting from rest again at rest when Vx at rest siya eh so ang Vx natin equate natin sa 0 Kasi at rest. Tapos yung Vx natin ay may equation tayong ganito. 2bt minus 3ct squared equals 0. So lipat natin sa kabila yung 3ct squared. 2bt na lang. Divide natin sa 3ct. Divide natin sa 3ct. Para ito, matitira na lang dito ay t na lang. Cancel yung 3c tsaka isang t. Dito cancel yung t. So 2b over 3c. So, hinahanap ang time. So, 2. Ang B natin ay 2.2 over 3 times 0.1. 2 times 2.2 over 3 times 0.1. 14.67 seconds ang sagot. So, alalaanin lang natin na ang instantaneous velocity ay siya yung slope ng tangent to the x versus t graph. So, ang x natin yun yung displacement versus time. So, another problem, a bird is flying due east. Its distance from a tall building is given by x of t is equal to 30 plus 
13 meter per second times time minus 0.05 meter per second cube t cube what is the instantaneous velocity of the bird when t is equal to 8 seconds so ito ganun ulit gagawin natin so ang instantaneous velocity siya yung uh, derivative ng distance with respect to time call din siya sa derivative ng distance over time derivative natin to 30 plus 13 t minus 0.05 t cube derivative niya ay 13 minus 3 times 0 0.05 0.15 t squared na lang. So, ang tanong, what is the instantaneous velocity of the bird when t is equal to 8 seconds? So, substitute lang natin yung 8 seconds dito sa t. So, vx, uh, 8, 13 minus 0.15, 8 squared. 13 minus 0.15 times 8 squared, 3.4 meter per second. Yun yung sagot natin. Okay. A ball moves in a straight line. So, the x-axis. The graph shows this ball's velocity as a function of time. What are the ball's average speed and average velocity during the first 3 seconds? Suppose that the ball moved in a such a way that the graph segment after 2 seconds was negative 3 meters per second instead of positive 3 meters per second. Find the ball's average speed and average velocity in this case. Average velocity I delta x over delta t. For t is 0, ito, ito pala yung time natin, ito yung velocity. So when time is 0, 2, to t is 2 seconds, ang vx natin ay, tingnan lang natin siya, when, when t is 0 papuntang 2 seconds, Ang Vx natin ay 2 meter per second. Tr formula transformation nito, delta x, average velocity times delta t equals, ang average velocity natin 2 meter per second. Multiply natin siya sa time, which is uh, 2 minus 0, kasi from 0 to 2. Sagot natin dito ay 4 meters. Distance ang makukuha natin, yung delta x. So, 40 is 2 seconds naman. 40 is 2. 2, t is 3, from 2 to 3. So, ang Vx natin, makikita natin siya sa uh, 2 to 3. Vx natin ay 3. 3 meters per second. Tama, 3 meters per second. Delta x, V average natin ay 3 meter per second. Times, time natin ay 3 minus 2. Sagot natin ay 3 meters. Alalahanin natin dito na the same sila ng movement. So, since parehas na ng direction, ang displacement at yung total distance travel ay equal. So, since parehas sila ng direction, so displacement ay equal siya sa total distance travel. Tama kasi nagdagdag ka lang. So, ang delta x natin talaga ay 7 meters kasi ang tanong ay first 3 seconds. So, from 0 to 3 seconds. So, since the same lang yung displacement at total distance, Masasabi natin na ang average velocity ay equal siya sa average speed. So, average velocity natin ay delta x over delta time. So, 7 meters over. So, 3 minus 0. So, 3. 3 seconds. Sagot natin dito ay 2.33 meter per second. So, the same lang sila yung average velocity at average speed. Ito yung letter A. Sa letter B naman, suppose that the ball move in such a way that the graph segment after 2 seconds was negative 3 meter per second. So, iba na yung ano niya. So, negative na siya instead of 3 meters per second. So, yung negative kasi, ibig sabihin, iba yung direction niya. So, magiging delta x. Ito, magiging negative na siya. Times 3 minus 2. So, ang sagot natin ay negative 3 meters. So, ang delta x natin ay 4 meters. Ito yung from 0 to 2 plus negative 3 meters. Kasi iba na sila ng direction. Ito yung 0 to 2 seconds. Ito naman yung 2 to 3 seconds. 
velocity average over 3 seconds. Sagot natin dito ay 0 0.33 meter per second. Ito na yung average velocity. Kasi displacement over time. Ang average speed naman is total distance traveled over time. So 7 meters pa rin siya. Magkaiba kasi ang average velocity na dito. Kasi nag-negative na yung isa mo eh. Kumbaga pabalik na siya. To west na siya. So 7 meters over 3 seconds. So 2.33 meter per second yung average speed mo. Ito yung average velocity, average speed. So sa letter A, since the same sila ng dis, uh, displacement, tsaka yung total distance. Kasi diba papunta sila ng east parehas. So pinag plus lang natin, yung, yung displacement, ito pa rin, tsaka yung total distance, ito pa rin. Dito, nagbago na ng direction to, papunta ng west na. So, mag-iiba yung average velocity natin sa average speed. Average speed natin, ganun pa rin, total distance over time. Ito, displacement over time. When the motion is always in the same direction, displacement and the distance traveled are equal. And the average velocity has the same magnitude as the average speed. When the motion changes direction during the time interval, those quantities are different. Last problem natin, Ina leaves her house and walks along the sidewalk toward campus. After 5 minutes, it starts to rain and she returns home. Her distance from her house as a function of the time is shown. At which of the labeled points is her velocity zero, constant and positive, constant and negative, increasing in magnitude, decreasing in magnitude? At which of the labeled points is her velocity zero? Yun ang unang tanong natin. So ito yung graph, naka-distance versus time. So saan daw dyan yung velocity? So lagi natin tatandaan na ang instantaneous velocity, instantaneous velocity, slope siya of the tangent to the x versus time graph. Slope of the tangent, ibig sabihin, di ba kapag slope of the tangent, uh, derivative siya, first derivative. Kung zero ang velocity, ibig sabihin, ang slope natin ay zero. So, horizontal dapat, di ba? So, sa letter A, the velocity is zero where the graph is horizontal. So, saan dito yung graph ay horizontal? So, ito, sa 4, yung, so, ang sagot natin ay 4 sa letter A. Sa letter B naman, constant and positive. The velocity is constant and positive where the graph is a straight line with a positive slope. So saan dyan yung graph na straight line with a positive slope? Di ba ang positive slope ay paganan? So ang sagot dyan ay point to constant and positive yung 1 so letter C constant and negative the velocity is constant and negative where the graph is a straight line with a negative slope. Pag ganun yung, pag ganun yung line natin. So, point 0.5. Sagot. Letter D. Ang letter D naman ay increasing in magnitude. Increasing in magnitude. So, sulat ulit natin. The velocity is increasing in magnitude where the graph 
is positive and increasing. Tama. Ito ay 0.2. Kasi tingnan mo yung slope niya. Medyo nag-steep na yung slope niya. So, papunta siya sa 3. Nag-steep yung slope niya kumpara dun sa 1. Letter E naman, uh, decreasing in magnitude. Ibig sabihin, uh, lumiit na yung slope niya. So, saan dyan yung lumiit yung slope? So, yung 0.3 to 4. Ibig sabihin, 0.3. Simula sa 0.3. Yun yung sagot natin sa letter E. So, ganun lang siya. Dito, ang point 1 natin, constant and positive. Tapos, yung 3 to 4, lumiit yung slope natin. Decreasing na siya. Punta dito, mag-negative na yung slope natin. 